New information and new video tonight of the Ukrainian jetliner going down near Tehran. U.S. intelligence sources are confident Iran shot down the flight by mistake. Mm -hmm. KCAL 9 political reporter Randy Page is here with a look at the evidence. Yeah. Randy? The timing just seemed so strange yeah. that night when the Ukrainian jetliner crashed just hours after Iran's missile attack on Iraq. It just didn't seem like it could all be one big coincidence. Now we know why. Keep your eye on that small white dot in the skies over Tehran. It is believed to be an Iranian surface-to-air missile. Watch as it appears to slam into a Ukrainian commercial airliner. Moments later, a huge fireball lights up the horizon as the jetliner hits the ground. And flaming wreckage falls from the air into a Tehran neighborhood. 176 people died in the crash. 63 of them were Canadians. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. The tragic chain of events began four hours earlier when Iran sent 16 ballistic missiles howling into the night sky bound for two Iraqi air bases, which housed American military personnel and equipment. Ukrainian Airlines Flight 752 was the 28th plane to take off from Tehran's international airport after the Iranian missiles were fired into Iraq. The time, 6.12 a.m. As the Boeing 737 lifted off from the runway, U.S. intelligence picked up signals of Iraqi radar locking onto the plane. The Ukrainian airline pilots had no way of knowing that at that very moment, U.S. satellites were detecting two surface-to-air missiles heading straight for them. The families of the victims and all Canadians want answers. I want answers. She was a really good person. Really good. Omidar Salani's sister, her husband, and his 16-year-old niece were on the plane. Every moment, say, I'm going to wake up and it's a nightmare and it's over and she's home. And I'm going to knock on her door. She's <laughs> open. 176 souls lost, the same number of families broken. <laughs> How could a tragedy like this happen? The airliner's transponder was identifying itself as a commercial flight. It was flying away from the conflict, not towards it. And the radar operator that lit the plane should have seen it take off from the airport. President Trump says the suspected missile attack was likely unintentional, a horrific mistake made in the heat of the moment. It was flying in a pretty rough neighborhood and somebody could have made a mistake. Uh, some people say it was mechanical. I personally don't think that's uh, even a question. Iran says the plane couldn't have been taken down by a missile. Iran's Civil Aviation Authority called it scientifically impossible that the aircraft was turning around and trying to get back to the airport, that it would have fallen from the sky if it had been hit by a missile. Well, that's just foolishness. Former NTSB Managing Director Peter Goles told CNN the Iranians don't know what they're talking about. The idea that a plane being hit by a missile would not be able to change its course or have its course changed by the impact of the missile is foolishness. Retired Brigadier General Mark Kimmett explained how an Iranian soldier could have made a fatal mistake. The person that pushed these buttons are very young men. Uh, they're out in these facilities. They look at their radar. They misidentify a airplane there. They're leaning forward and they're expecting an American counterattack. And we've got simply human error if this is exactly what happened. Could the United States bear some responsibility as well? That's a question put to Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau today. If the intelligence is accurate, then it seems this is the end result of a sequence of events that was sparked by the drone strike ordered by the U.S. president. So given the information you have, how much responsibility does the United States bear for this tragedy? Listen carefully. The Prime Minister didn't say yes, and he also didn't say no. I think it is uh, too soon to be drawing conclusions or assigning blame or responsibility in whatever proportions. Today, Senator Lindsey Graham begged to differ. We're not the bad guy here, Stan, I told him. And as hundreds gather at memorials around the world, Iran has invited investigators from Ukraine, Boeing, and the NTSB to join them as they try to explain exactly what happened and why. There is hope tonight the investigation will be done properly because Iran has invited other countries to join in the investigation as the world waits for answers.